to all our Igbo traducers who still think the Benins do not celebrate New Year Festival. They could not come. Come closer. Let's talk. Waga obi adone on a video. Waga e nokyong babo. Share this video. All right. So I will not hurry over this video. I'm going to be taking it one by one, precept by precept. You know, make you not calm down. All right. After this video, and you see, believe that the Benins do not celebrate New Year festival, or you're for you, you are on your own. So now let's delve into it proper. What is New Year festival in Benin? It's called Emoro. Ugemoro, simple. Emoro is New Year. Are you aware that eight out of the 12 months of the year are named after Yam Fami in Benin? You don't know. All right. In this video, we have a lot of evidences, you know, both in visual and in written materials to prove that, yes, the Benin truly celebrates New Year Festival and that the New Year Festival was copied from us by the Igbos, not the other way around. All right. Now, the first evidence we have that the Benin celebrate New Year Festival is this. This is a video that was done by the tribes who is one of these Igbo traducers, you know, who changes our history here and there on social media. He came to Edo State, Amaho precisely, in the uh, Igwebe local government area, to do this interview, whether the people there, you know, performs or celebrate New Year. What he got, the response he got, shocker. Just watch this short video. It's about a minute video. All right. This is a Amaro community, Amaro town. We are in a Gwiben local government of Edo State. I am here on a special expedition to know more about this community. community around. Uh, you are from exactly which community? I'm from Obodeko. Obodeko. Yeah, yeah in, uh, in Igweben. No, in Amaho. Amaho. And then Igweben local government. Okay. Yeah. All right. So please, you we want to know about your New Year festival. Do you practice New Year festival? Mm, gone in those days, but not, not now. And I remember when I was still very much young, and uh, before they would ever eat from the New Year. So they have to take the new yam to their shrine. They celebrate it first before anybody even ever partake of the yam. So after that, then everybody in the community they can partake of the yam. So that was then, but as at now, this uh, new uh, present days, so they don't do it anymore. But, uh, Why? What is the significance? Why do they tie to rubber? So don't forget that Esa and Bini custom and tradition or rather culture are, night, are over 98% the same, if not 100%. All right, virtually almost everything that the Bini does, Esa does also. All right, now the second evidence we have now is a video of Chief Akinwe of Umunede Kingdom. He spoke briefly on how Ede and Iye introduced New Year Festival to Umunede Kingdom. I know you poor are so abusive anyway. You are you will insult and abuse this, but because it's telling the truth. It is only among the egos that I observe that it is their children who tell their father their origin instead of the other way around. Listen to Chief Akinwe of Umunede Kingdom on how Bini people brought New Year Festival to Umunede. Mm -hmm. 
Go to hear that. That is the second evidence that shows or indicates that New Year Festival was introduced from Benin to the Igbo territory. Okay? That is evidence number two. Now, number three. This actually is a material that was written over a hundred years ago by Kati Conroy. You can see the area I highlighted in this very uh, picture you are seeing on the screen, you know, titled The Art of Fasting. The Benin's Agwe Ceremony. The, er the two areas that are highlighted in this picture reads Yam, Benin's staple food and crop, where ostensibly at Agwe's core, but its ultimate concern were the ownership, pollution, and sanctification of the land before the British invasion. Yams played a ritual role in four related ceremonies in the first, which opened the agricultural circle. Yams were planted in a symbolic pattern at the Obas Ugbeko village farm. Diviners examined this yield to forecast the general harvest, sometimes ordained human sacrifices to avert disaster. Thomas, page 138 to 139. The second ceremony took place after the general harvest with the commencement of Agosa, a period of fasting that required participation to abstain from eating new harvested yams at its conclusion Benin's New Year Festival was celebrated and boarded yams were offered to Patana and the Matana ancestors. All right, now let's go over to the second highlighted uh, area, you know, on the, on the picture. All right, we have in the second, in the second paragraph, it says, this type of knife were used to peel sacrificial yam for the palace's new yam festival. All right, so these two uh, vital areas were actually picked from that uh, from that material. All right, then that aside, there are other written materials, you know, that talked about how the Benin celebrates new yam festival. This book I'm about to show you is a book that was written in 1938. The first ever Edo language book that was written. This book is still relevant to date in the teaching of Edo language. The book was written by Dr. S. O. Egwavoen in the year 1938. So this book equally talked about how New Yam is celebrated. I know you guys might want to argue that the book was not written 
in that year. The second edition of this book was written in 1951. That is where you are seeing this letter that was written. It's a Kure UNA. Or the number year. You can see the date highlighted. All right. Now, again, let's see what that book you know, wrote about a mode of festival. The first part of the book says, Ugye Igbubo. Ugye Igbubo. Oge Edo. Benin Fami Traditional Festival. Uge Moro. New Yang Festival. Uge Moro. Oge Uge Igbubo. Ne Ivie Dodo. Uge Na. Oge Ne Emoro Edo. Jaladian. Ora Yadwe. So, man, if you do here, you do a the dog pa. The no one a dog dog. Oh, yeah, you do a ugi moro na. Ugi na. Oh, yeah, so a inyoro na the upo. Ama do a ne the egbe ari inyoro the egbe ni. The dena do ugi ni. Awe akiyari moro. E de na ze na kyan du gye ni ka se a le ungo mo gi o bobo ti zo a ya inyoro do me ema ven eran viri ema ya gye woro woro a be ga gye ema ema niririre gye e gbe ga gye de u gye na ne ke de ni ado e kba e ya gye se ti re nyoro all right, I guess you saw the, 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 the subtitle on the screen, all right, because there is no much time, you know, to do it on all of them. I guess you are following the subtitle, right? Now, the second one that I talked about in Moro, this is another one. That the same, the same author, all right? You can see where culture is, is highlighted, culture. Area ore uge, no kind in Moro. That is to say that... The description of a Moro festival. Inya eaya du geho kebe uge Moro. Inya uhun eaya du geho sokma inyoro eaya du ge Moro. E mano ba muge na eoseti do uge ho sokma e mahia eo du ge Moro. Uge ho ea kado aike do uge Moro. Ere uge eho ave uruan ya kwen inyan ge ere orokinya. Ere emoro e do ya kwenye osanobwa ye afyangbe norye ye emyoko hiya. E do ikon ve ere eho ere emoro e eva e ya kwenye. I guess you only got the description, the, the, the subtitle on the screen. Now, let's move over to another aspect. This is the same author. After the description of the various months of the year, now towards the down, you will see Yeo. Yeo means take notes. In Yanoladia, the Okeha, that is Okikpesi, you know, brack in bracket, Yamu Uki Eon. Uke Ivima in bracket. Okay, that is seven months in bracket. Eri nye do inyigbe ano ukigbe that is uke moro in bracket. Eri nye do daladian. In translation, it says the new yam that is usually seen in the month of June and July is not a do yam. It is from Lokoja. The Edo harvest their new yam in October. What else do you want? Just like I said at the beginning of this video, are you aware that out of the 12 months of the year, 8 out of it are dedicated to young farming? Are you aware of that? 8 out of the 12 months of the year are dedicated to young farming. They are named after young farming. In Bini culture, we have four seasons of the year now let's look at this whole month holistically or 
generally. The first month of the year is Ukiagwe. It's a period that the Benin goes into fasting in preparation for the farming year. It is a month of purification and certification of the body, the household, and the general kingdom. It is a period of fasting and prayer. Okay? The second month is February. February is called Ukifie. Ifie means the month of clearing, of bush clearing. That is the month the Benin begins to clear the bushes in preparation for the family year. In March is called Ukegbo. After bush clearing comes trees felling. You know, after trees felling, the following month is March, which is called Ukehwen. Ehwen is the packing of the debris that are left unburned by the fire or by, 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 by bush burning. After you've burned the bush, the debris that were not consumed by the fire are now gathered and burnt. That is called Ukehwen, followed by the fifth month which is called uke gua. A gua means yam planting. The process of planting yam is called uke gua. Now, the sixth month is May, ukikpesi. Ikpesi means yam staking. As you are seeing all of them, you are seeing all of them. So, the one that is asterisk are the months that were named after yam farming. All right? So back to the sixth one. The sixth one is called Okikbesi, which is yam staking. Yam staking. Yam staking is the process where you where you you give individual yams, you know, they are sick on which they climb. Let me just put it that way. All right. So followed by the 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 seventh month. The seventh month is called Ukie Ivima. Ivima is the dressing of the branches. The dressing of the branches of yam is called uki viema. That is seventh month. The eighth month is called uki ohie. Ohie means August break. Then followed by the ninth month, which is called uki ho. A ho is, you know, is a, is, a, is a period of another festival entirely. The festival, you know, usually performed by chiefs, titled men. It is a period. Uh, in which the nobles and the uh, title holders, you know, slaughter uh, uh, animals, you know, to their gods or to their deities in preparation for the new year. Then the tenth month is October. It's called Ukemoro. Ukemoro. A moro is called New Year, New Year Festival. That is when the Benis celebrate New Year Festival. That is what you saw the Oba of Benin, His Royal Majesty of Bahia II, you know, did the other day. A moro in Benin is known, is most often celebrated indoors. The Oba of Benin did not celebrate his Emoro openly. He celebrated it indoor. That one you see on social media was the one he celebrated for the Benins. He called, invited the Benin people and he celebrated that one for them. He did his own four days before that one you put saw on social media. All right. Now let's not deviate from the subject matter. The eleventh month is called Ugear Where. A where a where means you know the harvesting of yam, general harvest of yam before the yam is being pulled on the yam stack. Uh, be they called a rule. Then the last month of the year is called Ugear Igwe. That is when the Benin celebrates their Igwe festival.